Hey everybody, welcome. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's kind of here. Um, what's my channel? Do I say that? I don't think I say that. But anyway, I talked about this in my last video, or actually, I don't know which one's gonna upload first. But I talked about this in my video about reading being an assignment. <laughs> and anyway, um, I talked about this at the end, and then I realized, you know what? If I start talking about this, the video is gonna be too fucking long, so I just shut my ass right up. Anyway, though, what I wanted to say. And this is piggybacking off the video I saw, and I'm gonna have to find it and link it. But it's it's a video, it's a, it's a video essay. It's like 20 minutes long, called it's it's something like how grading in school prepares you for capitalism. And one of the points in that video, I'm pretty sure it was this video. It was how, again, I couldn't, I can't really find how to how to describe it accurately, but how homework, um. As well, yes, yes, it was this video. How homework, as well as grading work, uh, grading work is usually done out of school, so you know it's also pretty much homework. You know, it prepares you for capitalism, as in it prepares you to work overtime, and how you should always be expected to work, 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 and work. Okay, that is that is one thing about capitalism. Like I fucking hate that so fucking much. Whenever it really, I mean, like, just, like, a couple months ago, like, I, you know, I, I mean, like, if you would have asked me at any age if I really wanted to work five fucking days a week, well, okay, if I'm gonna be honest, I've always wanted to not have a traditional job anyway, so I never saw myself working in an office job or anything like that, but just, I mean, I mean, just in general, if you would ask me at any age if I like the idea of working, um, five, five days a week and only two days off, like, I would have been like, I, I don't, I don't really like that. I'd rather have more days off because, like, who the fuck doesn't want more days off? But now, it really just sunk in a couple months ago how fucking shitty that is. We, okay, and then, okay, not, okay, not only five days of work. Okay, let's say you work, like, eight fucking hours or, like, you're supposed to work eight, eight hours. I don't know. I've never had a real job before. But then, on top of that, a lot of people work overtime. Just like what they do was saying in this video about homework and grading outside of school. Like, it really does, it prepares you, which I'm pretty, which I, he made this point in his video, how you should be expected not to escape work at your house. You should never escape work. And that is so ridiculous. Two days, 48 hours off. For, like, 48 whole hours off. And sometimes you have to go to work on Saturdays, of course, and stuff like that. It's absurd. It is really, really, really absurd. <sighs> I'm trying to think of what else to fucking say. Like, it's just so ridiculous. I'm sorry. Like, y'all really need to understand. Like, literally, the mindset of Americans and real... I, okay, just the average American is to work, 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 work until your retirement. We, we have to work until we reach you know i don't know how old the retirement age is like i don't know like 65 i, I don't know if that's right or not but let's just say 65 we have to you know work just so that we can have a little freedom when we're old as fuck and what i mean like okay old people do shit obviously like i know old, i mean like old people going on vacation and shit like that but it's kind of like old people are not in their fucking prime okay most old people okay i'll say on average most old people are not in their fucking prime like i'm not really talking to old people about how they feel about their lives or anything like that but just i would say okay if if i was old and i had worked all my life just to get to the fucking retirement and i had money saved up it's kind of like okay funsies but i'm about to fucking die like what I'm literally about to fucking die. Like, I made it all this fucking way just working, wasting prime fucking years where I could have been having fun and really expressing myself. But I've been hindered by capitalism just to work the whole time just so I can be 65 and old and just want to sit down all the time and not do anything. My, I, like, I can barely fucking see, you know, like, my body's giving out on me. Like, you know, like, I'm not... Yeah, I mean, I mean you know what I'm trying to say here? Like... I mean, old people get dementia, like, I mean, like, I mean, I hope I never, you know, have to deal with any of this shit, but I'm just saying on, on an average level, I mean, f I mean, old people have fucking problems, I mean, let's be fucking honest here, like, old people have health problems, old people have to worry about fucking diet, I mean, like, really anybody 
has to worry about dying at any fucking second. I mean, if you are, if, if you don't want to die. But, you know, ooh. But, and, but yeah, I mean, like, old people have to worry about their fucking health. They have to, you know, worry about the fear of fucking dying. You know, their fucking, you know, body giving out of them, which goes along with health and just other shit like that. All the work up to that. And I'm not saying old people are valuable or, you know, just like pieces of shit that we don't need to. I mean, I'm, I'm not saying any of that. I'm just saying you really worked yourself so fucking hard so you could get to that. So you could get to being old and just having money saved up for what? what like, what am I going to do with it? When I'm old as fuck, like, I probably, I, I, don't, I don't think most old people want that much shit. Like, I mean, like, rich ones do. But just on an average level, like, old people, yes, they have shit saved up. But they're usually, or at least, well, really, I don't fucking know. But I'm, I don't think they're, you know, just way of all out of cash, like, you know, enough so that they don't have to work, obviously, but is it, you know, and, I mean, like, some old people still get checks from their old job and shit like that, Oop. and that's, and, you know, like, that's cool and stuff like that, but, excuse me, still, it's like, what, no offense, but what are they gonna do with it, like, they can't do as much shit, like, I'm just saying, like, their fucking bodies, they are old, like, of course, like, some old people are still, like, fit and healthy and shit like that, but I'm talking about average level, like, I, I, I keep going on about this, because I just really want to make sure, like, I'm getting my point across here. Kind of like, why can't I just live while I'm young? Why do I have to wait to live when I'm about to die? You should be living all your fucking life. You, like, you should feel like every day is your last day, or could be your last day, which, I mean... A lot of people probably feel like that anyway, but just, just kind of, like, literally live your life out to the fucking fullest every single fucking day, and, you know, do what you want, you know, I mean, you know what I'm trying to say here, so it's kind of like, but, you know, you really can't because you always have to worry about money, like, shit is not that fucking cheap in America, like, I mean, you know what I mean, like, I'm like, okay, shit, okay, some shit is cheap, but I, like, I, I, like, I don't know how to, like, fucking describe it, but it's kind of like, Again, I have, to, like, okay, like, why can't I work and live at the exact same time? I, I, I don't think that's possible. I really, I, well, it, as in, as in working a traditional job for an office job, for example, you are working five days a week, two days off. You cannot truly live in that moment. And, and for Americans especially, we are one of the countries that is most guilty for not taking vacation days. My father said that after my brothers were born, he had not gone on a vacation in 14 years. And guess where he fucking works an office job? It's like, I, I, I couldn't do that. Like, I mean, like, I mean, even if, like no vacation just having to work like that like we for real like it is literally like i was going on and saying it is ingrained in us from an early age just like the dude said in his video about homework that we are expected to always be working always be thinking about work we go to sleep thinking about work we wake up thinking about work we um, on, on the weekends we we still thinking about work even though it's our fucking day off why we should be thinking about us first, not fucking work. I, nobody should be fucking waking up being all like, how am I going to afford shit today? Like what? Like how am I going to fucking pay the rent? I'm not, okay, like, I'm like, this is obviously, you know, shit that is, you know, obviously or, or, or whatever. I'm not saying anything new with this, but you know, it's just kind of like, if you wake up always thinking about work, you're not living. Whether you have a job or not, you are not living. You, they only give you the chance to live when you are a kid before you can work. And after your retirement age, that whole fucking gap in your life, that fucking like 40, 40, 45 year, year gap in your life, you, the only thing you are is work. It is your job why it, it's just i'm sorry it's true and that's not an insult to anybody that is a wake-up call that is a wake-up call you have to separate yourself from your fucking job because like okay like i get it like you have to fucking work i'm not telling anybody to quit their jobs what would that cause though 
Oh, so what happened if everybody quit their jobs though? Let's be honest. But anyway, I'm not I'm not telling y'all to do that because obviously that's so fucking unrealistic. Y'all need to pay for shit. So again, I'm not fucking saying that. I'm just you need to separate yourself from your fucking job. You I look I understand wanting extra money, but working overtime, like it's just okay. I don't know, like I don't even know how to like really they like, describe it like I need some water. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. Okay. You are more than your job. You are more than your work. You are more than your work ethic. You are a person and you deserve to live. You don't... You shouldn't be exp... Again, like I was saying at the beginning of the video... Fuck, I fucking lost it. <laughs> okay, literally though. You are working just to be old. You are working just to be old and not be able to do shit. It's just that- Does, does that not fucking bother y'all? Like, okay, yay, I'm old and I don't have to work, but yes, I'm about to die. And I'm just too old to do a lot of shit now because, you know, my fucking health or something, or something like that. Like, I'm just too old to do it or I, I, I don't know this new shit, whatever y'all kids do it. You know what I mean? Just shit like that, like- but no, instead, you are expected to spend your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, again, I don't know when the fucking um, retirement age is. You are expected to spend those years being young, working, instead of really, truly living your life. Again, like I was fucking saying, you cannot be yourself and work. Okay, another thing, another thing I want to fucking talk about. Which is kind of a side tangent. It's not as really important. And, 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 and it's like a smaller picture type thing. But dress codes at work. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, and, and, and at school too. But really at work. Okay. First off. Professionalism was made by white supremacy. Like okay. First off. Okay. Black people. Like will wear their. Like will wear their natural hair to like school. Or their job or something like that. And be told that they have to change their hair. Like you know. Like when, when it's in braids for example. Girls will be told they have to change it. Because it's unprofessional. And it's like. Hair is unprofessional. Really. Do you fucking hear yourself right now? It's not like she has the fucking F word carved into the side of her head. Like. Grow up. Are you fucking kidding me? Grow up. And another thing, and this one pertains a little bit more to me and what I like to do, um, which, I mean, the braids thing does too, because I do like it in braids, um, sometimes, but, um, anyway, dyed hair, piercings, and tattoos, I don't have any tattoos or anything like that, but it's kind of like, those are also looked down upon, and I don't, why? Like, 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 it's hard to get a job with dyed hair, you know, piercing tattoos and stuff like that, or, or like, noticeable tattoos, like, you know, neck, face, hands, you know, stuff like that. It's like, why? Why? Like, th and this is what I'm talking about. This is, this is also, I think this could, okay, this could pertain to capitalism if I feel like really trying to connect that point. But, again, I really have to hinder myself. I have to hinder my self-expression for a minimum fucking wage. This is... This is a fucking Target. Okay, I don't know how much they pay a Target, but like, are you fucking or or I or I don't know if they have anything against you know whatever the fuck I just listed. But I just kind of like you really are making me hinder myself. Like, okay, I think that okay, I I don't know about really hair color, which I mean I I still don't think that they should tell you not to get a job because your hair is an unnatural color. But piercings stuff like that, like piercings hurt. You have to take care of them. Um, tattoos fucking hurt from what I here they feel like shit and you have to do some aftercare for those too and it's like if you were able to sit for like a tattoo for fucking hours i feel like that would make you a good like it's like it's like it shows you have patience it shows you have patience both for your piercings you know like you have to work to heal these fucking piercings like obviously i mean it's not that fucking much like it's not you know 30 fucking minutes every day i'm doing something to heal the fucking piercings but i mean you know what i mean it's kind of like you have to take care of them. And it's like, I feel like that should show that you're patient. I feel like that is a good job attribute. It shouldn't show that you are a piece of shit or, okay, well, 
maybe not that far, but that, you know, you are lazy or, or I mean, just something like that or, or, or just that, you know, you're, you're, you're a thug or something like that or just fucking crazy. I mean, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just like, why, where did, where, where did you get that from? A lot of people have tattoos and they are just fine. I would say most people who have tattoos are fine. Like, let's remove the connotation that piercings and tattoos mean bad person. Where the fuck did y'all get that shit from? Like, okay, let's fucking think the next time. Let's use these next time, okay? Let's use these next time. And it's just kind of like, you are really trying to make me hinder myself to fit into something that... Look, this is not even, this is not me. Again, when I'm, when I'm telling y'all, I mean, like, okay, if you have, like, a small business or something, like, obviously, like, that business is probably a, an extension of you and your vision. I'm not talking about that. I'm literally talking about fucking chain stores or just, like, office jobs. It's kind of like, what the fuck do you, like, I mean, I mean, what? You see me with dyed hair and piercings, you think I'm, like, fucking two years old? Like, I mean, like, like, what the fuck? Like, I'm immature or some shit like that? Like, What? It's just fucking ridiculous. Like, I think about that all the fucking time. Like, having to wear uniforms and shit like that. Okay, I don't- Okay, uniforms, okay. But, again, just having to cover up piercings and tattoos. Like, okay, if everybody got a face tattoo right here, they could not not hire all of us. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? Like, if everybody got a face tattoo, it would fucking change. It would fucking change. Or at least face- Like, facial piercings or just, you know, neck tattoos, hand tattoos. If, if everybody got one of those, all I'm saying is that it would change. They would have to hire everybody. They could not not hide, like, what? Like, you're just gonna find the 2% of people that don't fucking have it? Let's say that 98% of the fucking population, working class population of America, you know, gets, you know, crazy ass tattoos on job stopper places. Like, I, you know what I mean? I mean, like, this is like, a, like, side tangent or whatever. But it's just something that fucking bothers me because it does pertain to me. Although I have never tried to go out. Okay, that's a lie one time I did. But I, 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 I've, never, I've never had a job interview or anything like that. To where I would have to change myself. But, like, during school and stuff like that, we weren't allowed to have unnatural hair colors. We're really not allowed to have facial piercings either, but nobody really, um, does anything about it. Like, I had my eyebrow piercing and nobody ever said anything. Um, people also have nose piercings all the fucking time. I'm really glad this year that I'm not in school. Um, because I don't want to get fucking coronavirus, uh, one. But also, if I did have all these fucking piercings, which, I mean, it's not like I have a lot. But if I did have all these, um, I wonder if they would say anything to me because, like, they are not the normal ones. Like, okay, like, at school, you see people with piercings, it's a nose piercing. Except them or a fucking nostril. Um, really only. <coughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, obviously I have, like, I mean, like, eyebrows not too extreme, but the Lebray, it is you. I don't think anybody else in school has a Lebray. So, it's kind of, like, me, obviously... Yeah, am I smiley? But like, I I really don't be cheesing like that. <laughs> All right, I really don't be cheesing like that during school. I don't think so. Like, nobody would really notice that one. But it's kind of just like, kind of like, I wonder if they would say anything to me about it because it's kind of like, what the fuck? I okay, that's fucking not fair because everybody else has a fucking septum or nostril piercing, but whatever. Um, they would make me not. I couldn't have this hair color because it's just too bright. Like it is a natural hair color, but like nobody's really having bright ass red like that. So like I would have to dye it back to black. Which I mean, I like black hair just fine, but it's kind of like you're really hindering me for fucking what? Like again, this is what I'm fucking talking about. Like they teach you this in school. Like like some public schools don't give a fuck for some reason. Mine does. Um, again, I'm 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 going off somewhere with that. But basically, back to the main fucking point. Capitalism and America, they're basically fucking synonyms. Okay, obviously other countries do capitalism, but I mean, come on now. Um, like, literally, it it really does train you to only see yourself as your job. If you don't have a job, besides not being able to afford shit, okay, let's say you're on unemployment. Like, okay, okay, I'm not saying, okay. You should have a job. Or some source of fucking income so that, you know, you can pay for shit and stuff like that. I'm not saying, you know, just everybody quit their jobs. Or am I saying that? But, I mean, okay. But people put, you know, their whole, their whole being in their job. They are nothing without their job. Yes, 
Again, I'm not saying that jobs are just fucking useless. No, you get fucking paid so you can afford shit. Like, again, it really should be that, you know, basic necessities should be free. But, unfortunately, they are not. So, yes, we do have to fucking work. So, yes, get, you know, your food, get your house, get get clothes. Um, you know, in every, in any other basic necessity, you know, hygiene shit. Um, but, again, it's like, kind of like without a job, though. Obviously, you need to search for a job because you need money. But I think a lot of people feel lost because they don't have a job. Because they don't have a job. Not because they're not getting money. Because they don't have a job. Need some water. And it's like, literally, like, what I was saying. People put their whole being into these jobs that don't care about them. To them, you are just... You know, I mean, you... You you are nothing. You are just something that makes them money, and they will replace it with a cheaper option. Stat like my like my fucking mommy's job. Like, um, they started hiring. First off, it was like mainly American people working. I'm pretty sure, but they started hiring hi hiring Indian people and getting rid of other American people because, of course, they do not have to pay Indians Indians as much. They don't care about your livelihood, and get. And I'm not saying that it's your fault. Even I, I'm not, if you are one of those people that that feel that lost feeling without a job because you don't have a job, not because you don't have income. I'm not blaming you for this. It is not your fault because just like that video I keep fucking talking about, it is ingrained in you that you all you are is your grade in school. You are your fucking grade. That's why. You are your job. You put everything into your fucking work. They don't give a fuck about you though. Again, I'm not saying don't 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 ever work hard and never pays off to work hard or anything like that. I'm not saying that at all. Like if you have a dream of whatever you want to do, yes, work hard at that. Get it done. But I'm just saying in a normal fucking job setting. In a normal job setting, you are just someone that makes them money. Your labor, whatever the fuck you're doing, is most likely worth a lot more than whatever the fuck- you Oh, fuck. Whatever label, labor you're doing for them is worth a lot more than what they're giving you for it. And that is fucking horrible. They don't- Again, like, back to my fucking mother's job about them hiring Indians and firing American people. Look, yay, great, those- Indian people got a job now, but they are paying the Indians less. It's like, at, at what cost are you giving the Indians a fucking job? Okay, you fire American, like, like, like you're not giving the Indians that much money. You fire the fucking Americans trying to make a living here. Like, this is your country. You would hope, no. I, okay, like, again, you would hope that they would care a little bit more about their, you know, American employees. Because I'm pretty sure this is a fucking American company that she's working at. But no, they don't care and again you guys need to realize this if you don't if you haven't realized it already they do not give a fuck they care about making money that's why they will they will fire you to go some to, uh, to go someplace cheaper um like again like this is not new information i'm, I'm saying here like I, I i don't know i just really want to come on here and talk about this Like, if any if any people that are my age, um, I'm 17, if any of y'all, like, around my age or something like that start fucking working anytime soon, realize this early so you can do something about it. Okay? Because, look, okay, well, if I, if I ever get a real fucking job or something like that because I just make all my money off Depop, in the description, by the way, um, <laughs> okay, um, again, I make all my money off Depop so I've never had a, a real, a real job or, or anything like that. But anybody who is my age or around my age who is working, you need to realize this early so that you can find yourself outside of your job. Because, I mean, at this rate, I mean, like, I, there could be a whole revolution where America turns socialist or full out communist. That'd be crazy. But I mean, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that they that that could not happen. That is not impossible. But at this moment right now, that I, I don't think that's happening. I don't think it's happened as in Wednesday. Is this the 28th? I don't know. Okay, I don't fucking know. But I think it's Wednesday the 28th of October. It's like 10 something o'clock p.m. 
Um, it's not happening right now, I don't think. It's not happening right now, I don't think. So, yes, you you need to learn now to be able to find yourself outside of your job. Be able to know yourself. Not for your, you know, how, how you perform in your job, how you perform in school. You are much more than that. Like, again, I'm not saying you shouldn't work hard or anything like that. Because working hard is good. It's, I mean, you know what I'm talking about? It's just kind of like, again, I think we see people place their, wor their worth and how much money they make and what job they have instead of other actual qualities that they possess that would make them a good person or just, or just, or just anything about them. Like, not even being a good person, just anything about them that is interesting. Everything to them is work. And again, I, I'm not I'm not blaming anybody that thinks this way because it is not your fault. You have been trained to think this way, unfortunately. I hope that you can break yourself out of it. I mean, I know for some people, you know, older people is probably too fucking late. But and, and and they probably think that they had a good life that they worked the whole time. And I'm telling you right now, no, that is no way to live. It is no way to live to work. 40 45 fucking years just to get to you know i, I get I'm like 65 years old get your retirement and then do what worry about having to fucking die the next day or having to think about your health deteriorating every single fucking day if that unfortunately happens to you really when you could have been living the whole fucking time you could have found yourself earlier Make time for yourself. Like I've been saying, make time to know yourself outside of your job. You are not your job. You are not yourself being a fucking sales associate at fucking, I don't know, fucking Forever 21. Like, you are more than that. You are so much more than that. A job is just something you do. Again, I, I'm not talking about like small fucking businesses here. You, again, like in small businesses or, you know, like if you're an artist or, you know, just, and, or like anything of that sort in the arts. Of course, you insert a part of yourself into your work. And I'm not talking about you guys. I'm literally talking about any other traditional job or something like that. Where you are working for a big fucking company. That, that is what I'm talking about here. You are disposable. You, unfortunately, you, unfortunately, you are fucking disposable. And you have to realize that. And that's exactly why you cannot place your worth into your job. You cannot fucking do that. Because once they discard you... Which is inevitably, inevitably, uh, like going to happen because we are under capitalism. You have to learn how to be okay with yourself. And I'm not saying being let off work or fired from your job isn't supposed to be upsetting or something like that. Like, yeah, I just lost my fucking job and I, you know, this is my only source of income. Yeah, I'm going to need that job back. I'm, I don't mean that. Genuinely, like I've been saying. If, like, if you feel lost because you don't have a job, because that job was you, because you inserted yourself in that job, that's not it. That is not okay. Learn how to find yourself. Go, I mean, like, maybe even go to a fucking therapist or something like that. I, I don't know. But like, do, do some soul searching to where you can feel okay with yourself not being tied down to a job. Again, get money. You need it. But don't be your fucking job. Don't be your fucking job. You know what I mean? I hope this is coming up. I, I came with another fucking point, but then I forgot it. Um, um, literally. It's just sad. It's just really sad. We really work. I talked about this at the beginning of the video. We really work five days a week. Two days off. Two days off. And a lot of times people are working overtime. A lot of times people are working overtime. And again, make make your money, but at what cost? At what cost here? At what cost here? All right. Love the fact that you know you're making money, like, because obviously we need money to function in America, and in every, pretty much every fucking country on earth. But. If you have to give up a part of yourself to make money, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Or at least that job is not worth it. You need to find a job where either you are the boss, as in, you know, you're running your own business. 
or <laughs> oh my god my effing brother just texted Kellen's talking about jobs but she really has one okay okay but I didn't even say you did and why you ever listen to my effing video can I anyway anyway wait what was I talking about Okay, yeah, I said that, but then I was going on something else. Okay, Jesus Christ. Okay, I can't fucking remember what the fuck I was talking about, Jesus Christ. I lost my whole fucking train of thought, thank you. What? Okay, I'm literally making a video. Anyway. Yes, you should not give a part of yourself. And Okay, I'm making the Evan video. No, I was, I'm still up for record. Okay, anyway. Yes. <laughs> no, I literally can't fucking remember what I was talking about now. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, I'm really gonna have to stop the fucking- ugh, No, I don't wanna stop the fucking video. Okay, anyway, okay, I'm just gonna try to talk and figure out what the fuck I was talking about. Literally. You are not your job. Like I've said this whole fucking time, whatever the fuck I was going on about before, I'm gonna end this fucking video probably because I don't know if I have anything else to say. And if I do, then I'll make another fucking video. You need to separate yourself from, the, from your job. You are not your fucking job. Again, I'm gonna say it again because I don't think you understand. You are not your job. If you don't have a job, obviously that's a problem because you need to make money. But you should, you, you should not feel... Empty. I, I, I've been saying lost, but you should not feel empty. And that you need a job because that's all you feel like you're good for. No, because you're not. You have other qualities. You have other things that make you, you. You having a job or you making money, however much money you make, is not a true representation of who you are as a person. Um, wait, was I talking about making money before Cass interrupted me? How, how we need money in America? I don't know. Okay, yes, we need money in fucking America. I can't fucking remember what the fuck I was talking about. God damn. Sorry for this fucking awkward ass. I don't fucking remember. Anyway, though, I, again, I'm done. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I can't subscribe, but I can do it because I'm most of my next video. Goodbye.